This is Andy Dunn from the Golf National. You can probably hear the celebrations in the background over there. I've just come from over there where the Euro Europeans are celebrating an incredible Ryder Cup win. The Americans were favourite coming into this event, strong favourites, the best players in, in the world in their team. Yet the Europeans haven't just beaten them, they've absolutely hammered them. They really have. It's a convincing margin. Halfway through this afternoon, it was a little twitchy on the European side. McElroy went back to all square and was about to lose his game, but then they stepped up. People like Ian Poulter should get a special mention. When that scoreboard was red, playing against the world's number one, he held his nerve. Johnson was holding long putts, Poulter held his nerve. And from that moment on, when he, when he walked down that last, drove down the last, knew he wasn't gonna lose that game, that was it. And everyone then responded. Everyone looked at that scoreboard and up they stepped. Henrik Stenson, and how fitting it was that the last, the decisive action, the decisive hole was belonged to Francesco Molinari. The only European ever now to go to go 5-0-0. Five, oh, oh. five wins out of five at the Ryder Cup. Three Americans have done it, but Molinari, who's been an inspiration for this team, he did it today and went into the crowd. It was like a football match to celebrate, and that was it. There's still a game going on out there, Alex Norrin, um, to come, try and complete the European victory. But I don't think anyone, anyone, not even the biggest European optimist, thought that they would come here and actually do what they've done to the Americans. Don't forget, don't, don't forget, the Americans were off to a flying start in that first session, 3-1. They won the first three games. So how crucial was it that in that last game uh, on, on the opening day, Molinari and Fleetwood got that win and then that just set the ball rolling. Talk about momentum. The Europeans have dominated from there on in. There's a lot of fear that this young American team would come here and win and start a new era of American domination in the Ryder Cup. That hasn't been the case and that's why this goes down as one of Europe's most credit-worthy, most brilliant wins in the Ryder Cup.